turns out Dr. Walter Kempner from Duke University back in the 1940s was reversing some of our worst killer diseases with diet alone. It was made up of white rice, fruit, and table sugar. And he was reversing diabetes. So these people basically had death sentences, went to him, and were given basically sugar. You know, this horrible diet, but it was strictly plant-based. That was a clip from the documentary, What the Health? And here with us are the film's director, Kip Anderson, along with bariatric surgeon, Dr. Garth Davis, personal trainer, Jorge Cruz, and just joining us via satellite is Dr. Robert Lustig. Dr. Lustig? This movie is an unabashed attempt to market a vegan diet to the American public. I have absolutely nothing against a vegan diet. The question here is whether or not it's good from a metabolic standpoint and whether or not it causes disease or reverses disease. That's what I'm here to discuss, and that's what I want to focus my comments on. Can I just address your comment that we are patently false? Because I've got so much science to address that. So you say that sugar can't cause diabetes, but there was a recent meta-analysis, 16 studies, sugar actually decreased the amount of diabetes in that meta-analysis. In the EPIC study, okay. the EPIC study, 500,000 people found 12 years replacing 5% of their fat with fructose, which Dr. Lustig hates like crazily, dropped their diabetes rate 30%. If you look at the Adventist Health... We don't you consume fructose, we, we consume we don't. sugar. Right. Fructose for glucose exchanges are inherently biased because you don't absorb fructose alone. All of the studies that are fructose for glucose exchanges are basically uh, artifact, and I can prove it. And in addition, you mentioned a whole bunch of meta-analyses. If you take a look at the meta-analysis that was done by my colleague, Dean Schillinger, in Annals of Internal Medicine, turns out that there are 34 studies that sh where 33 of them say there's no effect and they're all paid for by the sugar industry. There's only one that says there is. When you look at the ones that are independently funded, 26 of them say there is an effect of sugar and diabetes. So you have to take those meta-analyses and use as a cofactor whether it was industry sponsored or not. The EPIC study did not. The EPIC, the EPIC study did show I, that I, did that, not. But this the gets back to me if I can clearly if, showed so, so that this animal is, protein caused diabetes. But this clearly. is where Dr. Davis, to to not acknowledge that okay, if we're going to say industry funded studies are a bad thing when it comes to eating meat, but then we're going to say industry funded studies about I, sugar. None of the well, studies I mentioned. None to of the those. studies I mentioned were industry funded, and I never ever mention industry-funded studies. I do not believe in industry-funded studies. Well, and, and no, quite frankly, for, for good reason. You know, an industry-funded study. But the, the reason I wanted to talk about this, I actually have friends who are vegan and all they eat are processed sugary foods. Yeah. And, no. and they are not healthy. No. And so if you give someone a license to change their habits and your premise is what the health and I want to stave off disease and illness, decrease inflammation in the body, reduce risk for cancer, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, you've got to tell them the truth. Absolutely.